today we are going to have a little bit different day and uh, go a little bit out from the town and check some holy places from the um, Sami people who are the original people actually only original tribe in Europe so Sami people are the original people from Lapland which is the north Finland, Sweden and Norway. So it's Lapland, it's not the land, it's an area and those original people are Sami people and they have a lot of rituals. They are also the people who are doing reindeer herding and uh, actually reindeers you can see all over here. And uh, yeah, so I will show you some of the holy places and for example this stone behind me. It's a holy stone. They had uh, worshipping and all kind of rituals here hundreds, maybe thousands of years ago. As I said, this is a holy stone. It's been used for sacrificial ceremonies. Still now, you have here reindeer skulls. You have here, for example, piece of the reindeer jaw with the teeth. Someone brought here berries, mushrooms, and there is some feather also here. So, fish skulls, fish heads. So this is still used as original purpose to be a holy place. This is very beautiful place um, called Paka Saivo. So it's this kind of, first of all, I'm now in the 60 meters above the lake level. And then there's this kind of very long and very deep lake. And it's very special lake, um, it's so deep, it's also 60 meters deep and uh, the water never changed in this uh, lake. And uh, there is a different layers and the, the, the last layer down there, there is no oxygen at all. And for that reason, uh, they found some very old, I don't know, some fishing equipment or something during the research very beautiful place Pakasaivo it's very windy but have to be very careful this is 50 to 60 meters down the water so careful Quite thrilling, beautiful place. I didn't know that we have this kind of beautiful nature here, but that's why I'm here. I'm happy to share that with you. Wow.
very beautiful colors in this season in Lapland. And now on the way to see another old historical stone, holy stone what the local people used for sacrificial events and so on. It should be a little bit bigger than the other one, the previous one. So this water is so clean here, so you can drink directly this one. And it tastes good. More. Quite steep hill down and there actually you can see already a little bit maybe behind the tree the massive rock they said it's up to 30 meters high wow it's a big stone Akasaivo holy Seda rock you can imagine hundreds, thousands of years ago, people being here, local, original Sami people, have all kind of events here, sacrificing or sacrificing animals. And they try to create a connection to the nature. For Sami people, it's extremely important to have a good and smooth connection with nature. And this stone helped them to do so. That's why it was important. Holy Seda Rock. So really, so that stone behind me practically so it was like a church for some people all times it's amazing really they've been here having their rituals mm -hmm. so this stone is actually locating next to amazing beautiful lake so you can imagine, thousands of years ago, people were here worshipping and sacrificing things to create the closer connection to the nature. That they can have a good connection with the reindeers, nature, lakes, birds and fishes and so on. Another fantastic day here in Lapland, in the nature. I tried to set up today my mindset a little bit to the history and try to think about how the people lived very primitive life here. Hundreds and thousands of years ago. Now it's evening. The evening sun is just just setting down. Time to relax. Let's see 
what happens tomorrow. No idea. Stay tuned. Thank you.